I've never been to prom and I probably never will but I want to spend one day of my life making myself a prom dress because I need it <laughs> Hello and welcome. Today we are making an easy prom dress in 24 hours or less. Let's see how it goes. My fabric of choice is this marvelous bed sheet with, I think they're supposed to be sakura flowers and potter fleece. I like the color though. Deep navy blue. The idea is to have a long dress with a bow or sash for ties on the neckline, a slit on the front and maybe a train. And of course a free back. I want to make this tie business in a way that will allow me to wear this dress in different ways. In case you don't know, I love a transformation dress. All to the high figure point. I'm gonna close this one and leave this here. Okay, so now I can work on this line over here. I want a straight line like this. The closer. This will be folded over. Like so. Now the back. Cut this out. And then just a straight line to the bottom. Ooh, there is an invisible zipper. Nice. The front on the fold. So I cut all the pieces double because I want the dress to be lined and not faced. For the scarf part, I'm using this mesh tool I got a few months back because I don't need to finish it and it's very flowy and I like it. It's white, it goes with the fabric. My beautiful pieces. Let's leave the back for later. Let's take care of the front. It is necessary to output this part and this part because those two need to match 100% so I don't have a lopsided bodice. Hey, what am I doing? I'm feeling the wrong side. Now sew this first. This is the front. I need to attach the back. Right side facing. 12 seconds later. Let's try to press the seam over and I didn't check the composition of the fabric and it melted. It melted. I'm very happy. <laughs> the bodice is lined. Now to make the skirt. <laughs> I'll take this apart. Yeah. Do I know what I need to do? Because now I have absolutely no clue. Ew, another zipper. I'm gonna be a savage and I'll just cut the salvage. I'll cut this overlocked seam because I don't feel like spending my whole day picking this part. I need the floor. <laughs> Kinda clean now. Would you let me work? Yes, puppy time yet? Oh. Ow, my hair! <laughs> This is my fabric, not yours. My clothes are not my clothes if they're not full with pet hairs and drool. Danger! No! This is my fabric. It's my fabric. And you're not supposed to be here. It's my fabric. It's my fabric. My fabric. <laughs> I want to use all of this for the skirt. I want us really big one. I'm just not sure how to cut the asene. The train, so I will first sew some random darts on the top, then I will cut the head. I'm not confident about this. I will abort the floor idea. It's not gonna work. And I will remove a huge chunk from the back right here to make the back dart. I'm calling it a dart, but it is here. <laughs> And the same on the middle of the, each of the other pins. Ta-da! Doesn't look like much, you can barely see the darts. But they're there. And now I can finally cut the hem with a train. <gasps> no, not even. No! I didn't have to eat it. Have you got it in Oh my god, yes! No! I, I can now remove the pudding. But tomorrow, because now I have a workout date with Katie. Bye. 12 hours later. 
Here, the skirt. Now with the excess fabric officially cut and now I can concentrate on making the hem and the train. Ew. But I need to know the length first. From my waist. One meter and 11. But I will cut 116 for the hem. I'm not used to being a floor troll anymore. And this is the main reason why. Because I cannot be on the floor without having an animal on top of me. I love you, but you have to let me work. She has no sense of personal space. What? So ever. No, you're not helping me. I love you. 116. I already forgot. Here goes nothing. Wow. <laughs> this is huge. Ooh. Just looks like I'm wrapped in a towel. I have the center back seam and two side seams. Only the back will be ruffled and the front will be a straight line. Sounds like a plan. It's ruffled. I can attach the bodice now to this. Right side's facing. Wait, uh... Sometimes I brain decides it's not the right time to do anything. One side on the front will go just up to the center front and then the other part... Where, where is the other... The other side. The other side. <laughs> The other side will overlap up to the waist start. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Did I pin it right? Is anything twisted? Doesn't seem like it. Let's sew this aberration. 24 seconds later. Moment of truth. Oh God. <laughs> didn't work because I sandwiched it wrong. <laughs> this is the part that should be underneath and not on the top. Oi! <laughs> Me and my sandwiching problem. Come on. <laughs> this is the one that stays on the outside. The other one is the one that comes up to the center front. And this is underneath. So it comes second in the sandwiching order. <laughs> one surgery later. <gasps> Toshi! No! She stole the pictopus! This is not yours! Eh! Leave it! No! Just give me kisses. Nah. Kisses! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but Pictopus is not your food or your toy. Seriously, where did she get that from? It was on the table. It was there and she stole it. I think I nailed the sandwich. I'm excited! One hemming later. Now that the insides of the dress are mostly finished, it's time to tackle the most important part, in my opinion. And that is the neckline detail. First to fold this and finish it so we have a channel here so you can insert a scarf or the fabric snack that you plan on using for the neckline detail if if i can find my fabric i lost the fabric <laughs> nope nope there cut a strip about 20 centimeters in width this is two meters long i think i want a four meter sash for my closure and i make it pretty bold i'm so excited about this i'll join them now and this will be right in the middle here so no one will see this ugly seam what what can what can what can now just add the damn zipper and we can do the reveal ah take me what six hours Let me, let me try the Angelina Jolie. I feel totally sexy. I have the highest shoes I own. I'm so fancy. <laughs> Come on, this train is epic, right? I think I'll need a loop. Put it on my hand so I can dance through the night without losing my dress. Like so. You can wear this in a lot of ways. Maybe not like this. This one is also cool. I, I can't make a bow on my back. I just can't. I think the ones that cinch my waist are my favorite. The contrast with the blue, I like it. But I'm biased, so... What do you think? Me trying to catch the epicness of this train is just ridiculous. Go on. Let me try again. See, how do fancy people wear trains without getting tangled? I can't even make it pretty to show you guys. Is that the reason why people have flower girls? But you cannot go to the red carpet with a flower girl. Take care of your train. <laughs> the struggle is real. 
And this dress is a safety hazard. <laughs> this dress is so comfy and flowy. I think I will just shorten it. Not even shorten it. I'm just removing the train and using this as a sundress in the sun. I feel free. I feel beautiful. I feel flow. And I can play Angelina Jolie with my femme slit. And I changed this sash. 20 centimeters is a little sad, so I cut 40 centimeters instead. It's way more interesting. Do any of you want to take a crazy person to prom? I'm available. Will there be prom this year? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this shenanigans, then check the one downstairs because I think you're going to like it. Bye!